When I was younger, I wanted to work for myself, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wanted to work on my own projects. It was art at the time, and it was drawing on little skateboards and selling them to other kids in the school. That was kind of my first step into being an entrepreneur. One thing I realized in college is that a lot of the instructors were pointing people towards textbooks for inspiration, and I kind of felt like it needed to be bigger than that. A lot of my inspiration comes from traveling around and being in nature and seeing all these different things, being in these majestic places. That's why I like going out, just riding through the city, and just finding these nuggets of design that are essentially lost. It's almost like a treasure hunt. Sometimes I don't know what I'm looking for, and that's really the beauty of it. Design Inspiration is a place for people to share and discover the best design from around the world. When I launched Design Inspiration at my college graduation, on the monitor I put up the analytics so people could also see who was using it, from what country. There were 40,000 people using it in the same day, 10 hours after I launched it. Technology is a really important piece to my process because it allows me to go from sketches or paintings to having them on the internet in a matter of hours. One of the things that really goes along with that for me is being able to work on a touch screen. The Zen book feels more like I'm a part of the work that I'm creating. Essentially, my dream with Design Inspiration is really to help people in the creative process. Though I may not know exactly what that is right now, and that's okay, having that goal is really going to educate the future of it.